a lot of developer productivity, at least in my world, tends to start with the meat and vegetables. So mm. we don't have a like a 30 or 50 person dev prod team. We have like a four person dev prod team. And so a lot of it is focusing on the fundamentals of like CI, mm. artifacting, publishing, mm. and just getting that to work. And so a lot of coder has been, or a lot of the cloud development environment story has been a lot of trying to take things that used to happen on our plate, which is someone saying, it's not, it's not working in CI, but it works in my desktop. What do I do? And so a lot of that has been that push towards trying to eliminate that as much as possible so we can start focusing on the rest of the job. A lot of what I feel like a healthy developer productivity team should be at is introducing technology to the company. Something I've saw in my previous role was when you don't have an innovative developer productivity team, you see a lack of technological innovation because you can end up with dev prod being the blocker to new into technologies. It's like you want to introduce a new language to the company, but it's a large enough company where you need the approval from security. You need the repository set up. You need to have the guidance. You need to have the CI system change. And sometimes the impetus to overcome that technological hurdle is so high that people just don't try. And you get these assumed constraints where it's like, well, we're a Java shop because we work in Java and we do the Javas and that's what happens. But I got to witness a transformation where my team was one of the first ones to like really push for Docker. And we were like, we're going to go find a Docker registry for the first time. And we're going to go stand one up and we're going to make publishing Docker containers a thing. And production was like, we would never want this. They were like, we were adamant. Why would you even do this? And we're like, I know where this is going. This is going to be something someday. And by getting ahead of that curve and being the introduction to these technologies, once the developers got their hands on it, they were like, well, how are we going to get this to prod next? So I think any, you know, anyone who's in a developer productivity role, I, I see a lot of it as, are you doing enough to push the latest and greatest innovation where today this would be agentic AI and generative AI? And are you making generative AI and agentic AI available to developers before they even want it in production? And it's hard to mm -hmm. do that role.